Hi everyone, my name is Mariam and today I'm going to show you some tricks on how to make a lettuce effect in Cloth 3D. I have a jersey dress and I want to add a lettuce effect on the necklines and hem. Then I want to imitate seam allowances that are turned to the outside, also with a lettuce effect. There are three ways to achieve this. First method is to use the elastic tool. With the edit pattern tool shortcut Z, you can select the edge where you want to apply the effect and then go to the property editor on the right. Under selected line you can check the elastic box. The ratio of the elastic is by default set to 80, so the line would be shortened by 20%. Instead of 80 I will set the ratio to 200. I would leave the strength at 10. And now when I simulate you will see how the neckline gets those waves. I'm activating the mesh view so I can show you another great tool that you can use here. Even though the particle distance of this pattern piece is set to 6, my neckline isn't smooth enough yet. To make it smoother and more curly, I have now the option of adding shirring by checking the shirring box right below elastic. Now you can see that this tool made the particles surrounding this line smaller and when I simulate you can see that it looks much better now. To finish up I'm gonna add a 4 needle overlock stitch that I got from the Clo library. Make sure the top stitch is added on both back and front so it looks realistic. For this you select the top stitch and scroll way down in the property editor. Under configuration face you can find the settings for this. I'm hiding the avatar so you can see the back side. The second way to make a lattice effect is to use the spiral tool. First I use the edit pattern tool to select the line and see its length in the property editor. Then I go to my 2D tool bar and select the spiral tool. By clicking the left mouse button a window pops up and I can type in my desired measurements. Depending on the length of your line you might need to try out a few different numbers before you get it right. But thanks to the preview we can see the end result already. The numbers will change slightly after you enter them as the spiral is built proportionally. Now I have my spiral and I can add it to my hemline as an additional seam allowance. I use the free sewing tool to sew the patterns together and superimpose sides so the pattern piece goes directly where it belongs. Sometimes you have to superimpose side two times to get the direction right. Additionally, I can change the particle distance of the spiral pattern piece to 3 and we see it's a nice lattice hem with larger waves now. Again, adding the overlock stitch for a more realistic look. For imitating the seam allowances that are turned to the outside, I have already added internal lines to my patterns that I can use to sew the seam allowances on. I'm checking the length of the line, then I'm making a spiral pattern and use the free sewing tool to attach the spiral to the front. Lastly, I add the top stitch and simulate again. The last method is a combination of the first two and it's my preferred one for what I want to achieve with this dress. After making a spiral and adding it to the hem and internal lines, I am selecting the outer edge of the spiral and adding negative elastic to it. Here you can see how the different methods look like and depending on what you need, you can adjust them or combine them. I hope this tutorial was helpful and you learned something new today. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and subscribe to our channel as we have many new tutorials coming up soon.